house is adjourning till officially till Monday 23rd of June 2014. Within this period, it is expected that nobody will be uh, found within the hallowed chambers. We have both agreed that we need to consult more with ourselves between now and on Monday. It is expected that during this period, both parties have agreed that no member of the House, 24 of us, should be seen in the hallowed chambers. Those pronouncements from representatives of the two factions could have been responsible for the few days' calmness being experienced in the state capital. At the premises of the legislative complex, it was observed that tension has reduced, though security operatives are still very much at alert, as exemplified by the non-parking directive to motorists in the various car parks outside the premises. It was observed that those entering the complex were also screened to ensure that unwanted guests are denied entry. Some of the respondents who spoke to the news crew advised the lawmakers to behave maturely like honorable members. They said it is unfortunate that supposed representative of the people are now going against the democratic norms, thereby denying the people good legislative business. I would want to advise them that uh, in fact leaders of both parties should be able to find a forum to advise their members. In fact, they should be law abiding. Is the house that uh, comprise of uh, 24 members, I believe that uh, if there's any problem working here, they should sit down and harmonize and iron out all issues, irrespective of the decamping and who is decamping and who is not decamping. However, this respondent has a divergent view. There is no advice they will take because they are not mature to start with. The best thing, when next we are electing people, we elect people of cred that has credibility, not those that have no credibility. They don't have credibility. It is hoped that the legislators will listen to the voice of reasoning and settle their internal problem for peace to return to legislative arm. A full sir one reporting.